The Minister of Transportation has lamented the slow pace of work on the Potakot Maduguri rail line. Senator Saidu Akali expressed disappointment during a visit to River State for an inspection of ongoing work on that project. Senior correspondent Ucho Okoro reports. This is part of the Minister's tour of railway projects across the country. His first stop is the train station in Port Harcourt. The old tracks are being replaced with new ones for the proposed narrow gauge rail lines. From here, the delegation traced the rail line by road to Oibo local government area. It appears that all hands are on deck to deliver the project according to schedule and quality specifications, but the minister is not satisfied. According to him, the federal government has since released 15% of the funds required, but the contractor have failed to deliver the balance of 85% as agreed two years ago. It can be achieved, but I'm disappointed with what I have seen because this contract was signed for 36 months and is to cover over 2,000 kilometers. So far, even Port Harcourt Aba, the project is just around 47%. Ideally, is supposed to cover 47% of the entire 2,000 kilometers, which by now we should be around plateau or so. And yet we are still struggling to be in above before the end of the year. I'm not happy, not only not happy, I'm disappointed. When I came to where they are laying the rail lines, you can see they are using manual alignment to align the sleepers. As this century, during this era of technology, I felt if you are not ready for something, don't even start it. Despite the setbacks, the minister says the government would see the project to completion due to its importance to the country's economy. It's linking the two ports in Port Harcourt up to Meduguri. That will, provoke, that will promote regional trading. Cost of trading will be very low. By the time we have started the passenger train, it will go a long way to cushion the effect of petroleum subsidy withdrawal. The Port Harcourt Meduguri Eastern Rail Line was initially meant to be completed before the 29th of May 2023. Thank you. Amongst other factors, challenges with the counterpart funding arrangement played a major role in delaying the project. Faced with all of this, the government is yet to announce a new timeline. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt.